everybody and welcome back to this tutorial and right now what we are going to do is we are going to code a program that will be able to discover some directories on the target web page. So for example once again we are going to test this on our Metasploitable. We will need a file which is going to contain some directories that are possible to be found on some web page. So we can use any file in our actual uh, Kali Linux, since this is actually just a test, we don't really need a real file. So let us see in word lists whether there is anything similar to that. So if we go to dir buster, or dir, but let me just check right here, cat common.txt, and we can use some of these actual lists in order to be able to discover some additional directories on our target PC. So first of all, what I want to do is copy this command.txt, so copy it to our Python pro, or pardon me, root, slash Python programs, slash uh, brute forcer. Even though this is not really a brute forcer, we will just put it in that directory, doesn't even matter. We are basically brute forcing directories. It is something similar. So let us go to that directory, go to brute forcers. And let us nano our directories.py. This program, as I said, will go discover additional directories on target PC, or pardon me, not on target PC, on target website. And how we'll do that? Well, first of all, we'll open the file with our common or our command.txt file with our directories, possible directories. Then we will add a slash to our link to the web page, and then we will add those additional directories after the slash itself. Then we will perform a GET request and we will see whether we get an error while performing GET request or if we don't. If we do get an error, that means that web page doesn't really exist. And if we don't get an error, that means that web page exists. So let us start off with the user bin Python, our usual line. And of course, we will need to import requests library. So. Right now, first of all, the most common thing to do right now is first to actually prompt the users for the target URL. So we can just use something like this, target underscore URL equals raw underscore input. And in between the double quotes, we will specify, let us do something like this, enter target URL. So we can do something like that. And afterwards, we need to open our file containing the directories. So file equals, let's call it, no, let's just call it file equals open. And let me just, I believe it was common.txt. If it is not, we will just check it out later on and we'll switch it if it isn't that name. We want to open it for the actual reading, but not in that double quotes. We want to open different double quotes and then read. And right now, we want to go for each line in this list. As usual, we want to perform the GET request. So for line in this word list, or we call it file, doesn't even matter. So for line in file, which is our command.txt, we first of all want to add the word. So word will equal line.strip. Now you could have also just left here line equals line.strip, but it doesn't really matter. Let us just use word since it is more prettier than actual line. And all we want to do is add to our URL this word. And how we can do that is we can do something like this. Full underscore URL will be equal to the target URL, which is the URL that our user of this actual program will specify we need to add the string of the slash, since if you go to any web page right here, you will see that the different directories have slashes. So we also want to add one in order to specify the directory, and we need to add the actual word right after it. Then what we will do is we will actually create a response, so response variable will equal, and we will make an actual function, which will be a request function to the the uh, specified URL, so to the target underscore URL, or pardon me, we specify the full URL, so we are no longer parsing the actual, uh, parsing the actual target URL, we need to specify the full URL right now, 
And this function is something that we will code in the next video. So hope you enjoyed this short tutorial and we will continue with this directories.py in the next tutorial. Bye.